Congrats to the three people that answered that. Uh, I'm in the hotel across the street. The hotel across the street has an odd design where they have the mini refrigerator right next to the safe. And the safe has a digital uh, keypad on it that makes it look like a microwave. <laughs> so what I'm trying to say is I lock my leftovers in the safe. <laughs> so if anybody plans on robbing room 830 of the Hyatt, it's going to be a real shitty score. <laughs> I'm just gonna rob a guy with real weird priority. He left his wallet on the counter, but there's a half a tin of poutine locked up. <laughs> this guy's got weird priorities. Um, I'm a, like an awkward guy. I was, this is a, actually terrifying for me. <laughs> this, I'll tell you where I, this is where I'm at socially. Uh, I recently said, God bless you, to a cat. <laughs> the cat sneezed. And then it was quiet. And that made me uncomfortable. Because I was raised right. So I sneeze, I'm like, I'm gonna say something. I'm like, yeah, but it's a cat. It's like, to hell with it, we're all God's creatures. I'm going for it. God bless you, cat. And then the cat looked at me. Because that's what they do. They look at the origin of sounds. But they have very judgmental faces. So this cat looked at me and his whole expression was like, you know I don't have a belief system put into place that would require a blessing from a deity. You do realize that I'm a cat. I think you say stuff like God bless you because you think that outward presentation of being nice masks the fact that deep down you think you're not a good person. I think that's why you put on a facade of politeness. Furthermore, I was worshipped in ancient Egypt as a god, all right? If I need to bless myself, I can bless myself. That's one of the, the, the benefits of being a deity. It actually comes in very handy. I sneeze all the time. I'm covered in cat hair. I might be allergic. Try that one on for irony. <laughs> and as much as I was surprised that I said, God bless you to the cat, next thing that came out of my mouth was like, well, go fuck yourself, cat. That's what I said. <laughs> And if you were a fly on the wall in that room, all you saw was a guy alone go, God bless you, cat. Go fuck yourself, cat. <laughs> and that's why I don't interact with people so well, all right? Because that's the level I'm at with the animal kingdom and it's not going so great. <laughs> it's either that or like I smother the opportunity for conversation, you know? Somebody would just be like, how's it going? And I just crush it like Lenny and the bunnies, like, you wanna be friends? I was on an elevator, I was alone. Guy gets on the elevator, regular looking fella. And uh, doors close, and he says to me, in a very nice way, just goes, you smell nice. <laughs> and I said, thank you. Because I don't get that compliment, ever. <laughs> this smells how it looks, all right? There's no surprises here. You're not gonna get within an old factory radius and be like, is that daffodils? Who would have thought it? <laughs> so he said that and I was flattered. I said, thank you. But then the next thing out of his mouth was a lot more ominous. His second effort at conversation, he kind of lowered his gaze at me, like I passed the first test. And then he said, uh, you just get out of the shower. That's never information I've needed from someone before. <laughs> I haven't asked personal friends that. That's not something you need to know. And he said it real weird like it was a checklist, you know? Like, ooh, you're already scrubbed up? Good, that's gonna save a lot of time when we get to the desert. <laughs> Clean skin is the best for making lamps out of. Like, what's this guy going after? But instead of seeing this as a threat, I jumped all over it because somebody wants to be a new friend. My response, I was like, what do you smell? What do you smell? Is it lavender? Do you smell lavender? Tell me if it's lavender. I got a new face wash that I'm using. It's lavender. Tell me if it's lavender, because it might be that. It's very overpowering. It could be a whole body, but really it's just my face if it's lavender. Lavender? <laughs> and uh, he responded by immediately exiting the elevator. Like he just split. <laughs> 
and that's when I realized, oh, I just out-creeped a creeper, is what I did right there. <laughs> My own desperation became a form of self-defense, and I became too much work for a pervert. This guy had his sights set on me, scored me up. Oh, 170, a little doughy. I can take him down. And he just got out of the shower. Great. I opened my mouth up about a face wash. Next thing, he's just like, this guy's just going to chew through the gag and ruin the whole van ride. <laughs> I wasn't looking for a project today, all right? I was just trying to kill an afternoon. Uh, that's my time. Thank you very much, you guys. I feel sick as hell, man. I, uh... I just saw that movie Precious in 3D at the IMAX. Hi guys, you ever walk in the door, you hear those six words you just never want to hear? Do you know what today is? I'm gonna say Thursday, but I'm wrong, right?